Good afternoon, it's Jilly Q from the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. I'm doing, um, well, I'm going to use these, a uh, couple of these little packs. They come in four packs and they're the pre-made pouring paints by Montmartre. Um, and you know, you don't have to add anything or take anything, you can pour directly. Um, they don't usually produce a lot of cells, so you could put them into a cup and add a, um, a little bit of uh, a little bit of silicone. I add the Helmar silicone. So these are what I'm going to be using today to try and attempt to do a kiss and a uh, blow and kiss on this canvas. So I'm going to try these two. That one was a little pack called Cosmic, and this one is called Flamingo. But um, yeah, I'm gonna try and see if these work for my kiss and blow method. So I'll get them all out. I'm not adding anything to them. If they do seem a little bit thick, then I will stop and I'll put them in a cup and I'll just simply water them down. I have got, I, do, I did wanna put some red in this to give it bit of bling to this is the same it's the Montmartre pouring paint that it's just the big one what I've done is I've made a cup of the um, Montmartre studio acrylics in white and I did this with my uh, PVA glue and water um, the pouring medium recipes in the drop-down box Duh, oh, not too thick because I keep getting it wrong by uh, you you know I should have the paint nice and thin to be able to blow it around the canvas so I'm going to try that on the bottom then I've just made up a bit of the Montmartre very thin with a bit of um, bit of flow troll just to, to be able to blow the other paints around just uh, it's just experimenting again so I've got a cardigan on today I can't believe it because it has been a bit nippy so that is the plan man so here we go i will start off just covering my canvas i'll see how doing it this way works probably just easier for me to that actually seems too thick again <laughs> i cannot get this right um, I'm going to just spread it out with my little spread out. Yeah, it's definitely too thick. I'm going to have to water it down again. Oh, I can't seem to get this right because I keep worrying that if I water it down, it'll be too thin and it will be become transparent and I don't want that. So I'll just see how we go, but I think it might be a bit thicker than required because you only need this base coat very thin if you're going to blow paint around over the top of it uh, you can do that with you you can spread it with your fingers you can spread it with a spatula whatever you choose is, is perfectly fine there's no rules remember the only rules is there's no rules I'm just going over the edges with my fingers so it's all, all be over the edge too a little bit. So it'll cover my edges up. My canvas is come pre-gessoed, so I don't need to, um, you know, give them a, a coat of anything before I paint on them. Just grabbing a cloth. I forgot my cloth again. Oh. Cloth head. I might just add a little bit of just water to this white, just in case I need to pour more of it on I'm just going to add a bit just plain water to it just to make it a bit more runnier so we'll just see how we go with it anyway so this was my intention I'm going to do so I'm just going to pour it directly from the bottle and I'm going to do <laughs> I'm not I'm not going to say a circle because that's not a circle is it but I'm going to do it around the edges so 
give your paint a good shake as you go God, <laughs> oops a days. Nearly went all over the place. At least it went on my mat. So what was that colour? The one was magenta. The other one was turquoise. And this one is phalo turquoise. If you've got turquoise and you want to make it that little bit deeper, like what I do with my, um, my, my just my studio acrylics, I add the phalo blue to make it go kind of this tealy blue. So remember I'm going to do a paint, a, a blue and kiss again on this one. This one is the pink, just plain old pink. And I'm going to add some gold. I'm not I'm not sure whether no I'm not gonna add the black I don't want it to go weird uh, to go too dark now I've got a little bit of bronze that was pre-mixed so I'm gonna just put a bit of that in my circle so I'm not sure if this paint will kiss very nicely either this pre-made pouring paint I have done kisses on it in a swipe method but I haven't done it on it in this method so we will see um, was two things what was the other thing I wanted to do oh yeah my white this is two things I want to try so this was the white with the bit of flow troll added say 50 50 and I just I'm not gonna I just want to pour it on the this side just something I thought of trying first so then I'm going to use my Swifty Swipe which is just soft plastic soft plastic attached to my spatula um, this might not work no it's too wide so I need something narrower let's try pieces of I might just try this now. Where did I put my white? I wanted to see if I swipe just these bits, how they turned out. They don't do very well. I'm gonna get the dryer on it as well, but I just wanted to see what came out. If anything, it might not be very nice. It might be beauty. So I just, but I'm gonna blow it anyway. So, nah, don't really. I didn't really like that too much. No, I'm going to stick with the other plan. Was just pour a bit of this white here and here. And I'm just hoping that my dryer don't just go and blow it all over the place. So, fingers crossed. I don't want to use my tiny blower on this one because it does need it's it'll be it's easier to use the tiny blower if I've got a smaller canvas for sure but not this one this one is 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters I'm just trying to find me plug I've got this don't you chew that wire Benson you will be a sizzled puppy my goodness so I've got my big dryer I'm just hoping I don't blow it everywhere so I'm gonna blow it this way first not blowing very well okay so I've got to pour something to give it a bit of oomph Pour the rest of that flow troll and white. Let 
that's how I want it to move like how that one just did. So now I'll go the other way just to wispy bits into the middle hopefully. in a bit here and it must be because I've put it on a bed of the um, the studio acrylics maybe I should just given it a bed of the same kind of paint um, just wiping it around the edges it does look very soft and delicate looking so unlike me okay I can't see the back there but I'll get to it after it's kind of oh, we've got helicopters going over and all sorts today. It's okay, Benson. Um, I will get a little skewer and do some um, some just little embellishments through it. Whether that works. Dogs can be quiet all day and I start filming and then it goes off. <laughs> but that's life, I suppose. Okay. It's a, quite a bit of a delicate looking one, but it's actually quite nice. Just not happy that I've got the paint splitting. I mean, it kind of looks like a nice effect, but it is kind of... I would like to try it without the splitting so that has only got to be because of the I've used a different brand paint underneath which well it's not it's actually Montmartre but it's actually the studio acrylics I should have just poured on the actual pouring paint same stuff maybe maybe not but it's well worth doing because that's really quite nice and delicate looking. A little bit different than some of the things that I do. So trying to trying to give lots of variety to my audience by trying different things, of course. So I might leave that. I'll just give it um, a little while and I will either come back and show you what it looks like or there will be photos on at the end to show you. Oh, actually, that's quite nice. I like it. It's nice and delicate, and I'll just see how it dries. If it really dries and just is cracking up, then I will let you know so you don't make the same mistake. But I probably would advise that you didn't... Um, you didn't use the Studio Acrylics for the base because... I've used that and it is sort of obviously reacting against the paint um, so that's not really what I wanted to happen so I would just use the white acrylic uh, pouring paint on 
you know, so it's all of the same paints because some paints, even though the same brands, don't marry very nicely together. But that's actually looking quite nice. So let me know what you think about it, guys. Oh, <laughs> I completely forgot. I haven't even kissed it yet. I was going to do my blow and kisses. I know you're probably saying, don't you dare touch it. Don't do anything. I'll just do one little balloon kiss, okay? Let's see how it goes. If it looks absolutely disgusting, I won't go any further. I wanted to do my balloon kissing just around. That was my... I'm a blooming... I don't know why... Uh, I won't say the name. My mum used to call, me, call things when things didn't go wrong because I might be banned. <laughs> Oh gosh, I am a Nelly. I'm a Nelly. There is another name my mum used to say. You're a Nelly. Don't know what that got to do with anything either. But she had some real funny old sayings. My dear, beautiful mother. Couldn't have wished for a better mother and father. Absolutely. So I have no complaints about my parents or upbringing or childhood. I don't know how I got to that. What was I <laughs> talking about? My mum's silly sayings. Okay. Oh, that is gorgeous. Now it's got rid of the cracks. So there you go. I've got rid of where the cracks, the paint seems to be splitting. You just balloon kiss it. This is just a tiny, uh, well, it's just an ordinary balloon that's gone down a bit. Oh my goodness. Now I've got the sun coming in across here and there's nothing I can do about that because I have not got a blind or a curtain on my garage door. Okay, oh, that is, that is lovely and that, I am so happy that I did that because that going over where the paint was splitting with the balloon is just fixing it up. So there you go. It is definitely the kiss of life with my balloon. <laughs> I'm happy about that. That is a little beauty and I will definitely do it again. I'll do this exact style, but I'm going to do it with all the studio acrylics, the kiss and blow and do the halo of flowers around. That's beautiful. I'm happy. I know that you might say, no, you've spoilt it, you shouldn't have done it, but like I tell you guys, your art room, your art, your way. Sorry about the shadow that is now over that painting. I'm not sure if I can stop that. But, yeah, got the sun coming through. Okay, thanks so much for joining me. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. It's absolutely free. The uh, description for this is in the drop-down box, as are the links to the Australian online supplier. And if you're in the US, overseas, these are available, I believe, on Amazon. So bye for now.